Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The reason why our communities are the way they are because we don't fear God. God is going to bring fear back into earth. That's what this coronavirus is all about. You're going to learn to fear and respect God. God has been taught to the world the absolute wrong way. God killed people. Lots of people. He all about killing people. You want to sin against me? Okay. You want to be a homosexual. So when you die of AIDS, is it wrong? No. It's judgment. God says I created a man to go inside of a woman and to have another person. But you decide I want to go inside of another man. It's chaos. Kill him. He's going to die. Now what? He won't just die a, a, a headshot. Quick death. He's going to die a slow, painful death. Thus said the Lord. God is about judgment, meaning if you transgress and don't do what I say, it's going to be a judgment. My kids, if I tell my kids to do something and they don't listen, I pop them on the side. Listen and do what I say. God tells you to do something, you don't listen, this is what happens. Slavery, bondage, living in communities and poverty. That's what happens when you sin against the Creator. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel. So you now know that you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. God says this. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? If something is required of you, do you have an option? It's a, if it's a requirement for you to be at work at 8 o'clock. If you're not here at 8 o'clock, what happens? You get fired. It's a judgment behind it. So it's a requirement. So meaning you don't have an option. If you want to not do what I require of you, there's going to be a punishment behind it. So God says, read that again. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God requires something of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. He requires something of you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. There's no fear of God in a, in a black and Hispanic community. No fear for God. We don't even know God. That's why, no, if I go to Texas right now, who am I going to find in the hood? black and brown people. If I go to California right now, who am I going to find in the worst communities? Black and brown people. No matter where you go in the world, you're going to find our people in poverty. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. So God says, I made you to serve me. I made you to be an example of what righteousness should be. Meaning what? A father. A husband and one wife. A man. It's hard to even find men in our community nowadays because guess what? Every time you turn the TV on, what do you see? Some gay stuff. Why are they pushing that in our communities? Why? Because they know if we could get him to go inside of him, it would be no more of them. It would be no more of them. We're going to put guns in their community. We're going to put drugs in their community. They put AIDS in their community. They put homosexuality in their community. Give it a few months, it'll be over with for them. But it's not happening. Because God waking the prophets back up to who they are. And we're standing back on our feet as leaders. The whole plot is to destroy you. Destroy your people. So-called Mexicans. They just keep having kids. They keep having babies. What should we do? Deport them. Get them out of here. There's too many of them. They're taking over. Send them back to Mexico. Matter of fact, send them to Venezuela. Send them to Colombia. They don't even know nothing about Colombia. Matter of fact, lock the babies in cages. 
Just destroy the so-called black and Hispanic and Native American men. That's the whole goal. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. So God says it's something that he requires you to do. This is the part I want you to pay attention to. Read that. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Ecclesiastes 12. So God says I require you to keep my commandments. The whole reason that you're even here right now is to serve God. God is a real man all the way up in the third heaven. He's sending his son back down here. They like to teach you about a Big Bang Theory, right? Where it was just a boom and you had the sun, the moon, the stars. How can you have order from a Big Bang? It's no such thing. What's another word for animals? Insects, creatures, right? In order to have a creature, you must have what? A creator. A creature is nothing but a creation from a creator. It's a creator to all of this. We creatures. Meaning what? We're creation. We were made. You think it's a coincidence that it was just a big bang and all of a sudden you have five fingers. Your thumb is in the correct spot where it needs to be to grab. Your heart does the exact thing it needs to do for you to live. Your lungs do exactly what they need for you to do to live. Your eyes do exactly what they need to do for you to live. It's not a big bang that comes from that. It's called a creation. Meaning God said, I'm going to put this here, put this there. It's the creator all the way up there that we don't know about. We learning about him now. Bring it out. The thing is, is if you don't learn about him quick, it's going to be judgment behind it. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So the conclusion to everything, everything that we just, I just spoke about up here, what's the conclusion to it all? Read. Fear God. Once again, fear God. Because if you fear God, what will you do? Nothing. Everything that he said. If I feel, it's like, for instance, you go to prison. A guy walk in your cell, eight foot tall, 300 pounds. You fear him, right? He said, give me your shoes. What you gonna do? You gonna give him the shoes. If you fear God, you gonna do what he say do. That's all he want is fear is respect. We have no respect for God. That's why he got to continually do things to tear us up. If my kids disrespect me, I'm going to make sure they respect me. That's all God is doing with coronavirus. With AIDS, our people are the minority, but everything bad we lead in. Diabetes, gout, STDs, genocide. We lead in all of that, but we the so-called minorities. Why is that? God is against us right now because we're against him. We got to get back to God. Our God. That's our God. God don't love everybody. That's a lie they taught you. It's not true. It's not in the Bible. God says I chose a specific group of people, like the sister said earlier, the Israelites. The question is, who are the Israelites? Bring it out. Those people in Israel ain't the real Israelites. You know who the Israelites? The so-called Hispanics. The so-called Mexicans. They don't even know it. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So what's the point to creation? Why did God create man? Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. We must come back to God's commandments. I'm we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.